hello friends welcome to my tutorial this is your friend Vilas Patil here just for the beginners this video is completely for the begin beginners just uh, today I'm going to show you how to set up the ZAMP server in uh, your system and test whatever projects we create or HTML websites PHP websites in the local system for the beginners who don't know or who want to learn the uh, coding and uh, who want to develop the projects or a website okay so we'll start with uh, XAMPP installation okay here I'm going to run this XAMPP server uh, I have already downloaded this XAMPP for Windows 64-bit okay 7.4 I'm using that's the PHP version We'll install the XAMPP first. Later on, uh, we'll see how to uh, deploy or uh, test the website in localhost. Okay, we'll keep them marked here we are in this PHP my admin is also installed and MySQL it takes a zip default location as a C you can use anywhere you can uh, install it in any other drive also if you want to install here I will pause the video until it installs okay friends here we go uh, do you want to start the control panel now yes okay or else uh, if you want to plan to uh, start this XAMPP server later on you can uncheck that and finish it okay here we'll start XAMPP spelling mistake okay uh, to run any application we need the Apache server and MySQL which helps to set up the database right now if we don't use the MySQL also it is okay so we have to allow the access to this application for both Apache and MySQL okay now we can close this it will remain in the task bar that is okay. here it is in system tray okay, it will remain there now we'll see how to open this Okay, Apache server is already running. Now, if we use localhost, you can see dashboard. It is automatically taken. Means it is targeting. Uh, let me show you uh, which folder it is targeting. In XAMPP, htdocs. Okay, this is the index okay index.php file it is okay it is targeting this this will be the dashboard okay here are the files it is the root folder we call it as a root folder and here we can see all the tabs and all application and PHP my admin okay if we use this and type PHP my admin it will open the MySQL application here where we can set up the database and uh, work on our applications okay now we'll see about the localhost only okay 
okay as i already told this is the root folder so if i want to use it for other application okay this is a complete one application we can see here if i want to develop one website okay, i will rename this to index 1 now it will give the directory it will show the directories now i want to develop one web page uh, we'll take a help of w3 school here we will take any one example here Okay, let's see some example here. We'll try to run this. Okay, this is how it should look okay so i'll try this i'll select all the code as it is and uh, let's open the folder that is root folder that is hd docs Okay, now let's create one file here that is called index.html. Okay, what I'll do, I'll paste all the code over here and save it. yes here you can see now let's try to change some code here yeah it is changing now you can take the help of this w3 school website and you can develop your own website as uh, as per your requirement and one thing i would like to share that you can if you want to uh, test or create a multiple projects 
and want to test it okay you can do one thing in this hdoc folder one fold one more folder you can create that is uh, project one project one okay this is the project one folder and i'll cut this and i'll paste it in this folder okay now let's check how it will work now now just put a forward slash and project one you take and test it here here it goes now hello world 2 see this is changing now similarly if you want to work with some php files okay php website if you want to develop project 2 i will create and let's check for other code to try until it opens we will create one file in project 2 okay, okay now you can see this uh, code is for the responsive site okay simply I will copy all the code and paste it in this file it is not copied Okay, let's save this file and let's check for the result okay a response in the sense if you can check here we can test it for any mobile device also just uh, check uh, right click and uh, inspect the element and uh, you can click on the device here okay you can see here how it works how it looks you can check it for any other phones also okay refresh this page you can see here this is a navigation bar if we click on the home it will go to home page and these are the other tabs you can use and you can navigate to other pages okay this is a simple code which we am directly copying from the w3 school and creating the projects this is the basic basic video which all the uh, developers or the becoming who want to become a developer uh, or who are willing to learn the project create the project and uh, learn coding and all uh, this video is basically for them uh, this type of video I will keep creating uh, my kind request is that kindly uh, like share and subscribe to my channel don't uh, forget to click on the bell icon in future if I post any any kind of video uh, this kind of video you will get a notification first thank you thank you for watching if you have any queries if you want to learn something just let me know I want to start with the coding and I want to uh, share the details or how by learning 
and uh, by sharing the content we can learn maximum i know that okay that is my kind request just drop a message if you want to know anything just let me know i will create that kind of video and i'll share thank you for watching